to bring the energy. So we'll see if they're going to bring it to the table this time around. We're getting this one started. Eden Strongholds, guys, make sure that you tweet the stream. Get as many eyes in here. Put the team that you're rooting for as well. If you want Envy to win, put a one in the chat. If you want Neventic to win, put a two in the chat. We're getting this one underway with the wizard, the man we were just talking about, the man with the best mustache in the HCS. All right, here we go, Pistola. Oh, gets the help from Mikwin and is able to stay alive after getting a melee off on Nemesis there. So Ryan Oop, he's got the rockets, but Camo still over here to Pistola, who's focusing on Catwalk, but is getting naded left and right here by Contra, who's over there on Blue Plat. Yeah, you gotta be careful here if you're Ola, but Ola, is, he, he's really good at doing this. He's really good at staying alive in these type of positions, and now he's got even more adversity to deal with. A random grenade coming in, and his camouflage is slowly but surely ticking away. This is great right now for an Inventic. They didn't really have many advantages playing from the blue side, and now Ola, ooh, that's the plays we're talking about. He doesn't contest the catwalk. He just slow plays it, plays the numbers game, and picks off a double. Meanwhile, Contra gets a double kill of his own. Yeah, so that's actually going to be Noventic for the first ones to put points on the board here. Hook is getting some call outs. They know their player's coming off spawn over towards uh, the security area. Great grenade comes in from Ryan Hoop. He's still got those rockets. What a fantastic rocket to secure that kill. Not fast enough to get a reset here, but will pick up the kill nonetheless. Now, Pistola, he didn't actually go grab those rockets. So I'm curious to see if anyone's going to be able to find those. If they knew he had any left here. Snipe down, land down, shots on the Ryanoob. Ryanoob winning that battle right there. Maybe not the best time to pull up snipe down stats. You don't really see him get outshot very often. That's going to be Slays going on over to Neventic. Can they get the strongholds under control though? Nemesis. He's grabbing the rockets. Can he do some damage? He does. Getting the trade with the snipe down. So snipe down has to be getting a little bit frustrated. Two back-to-back -back deaths. We'll see if he's going to be able to regroup off spawn here and help his team, who is laying down some good damage. Huke with the battle rifle. He's going to get traded out here. We'll see what the play is with the overshield popping up because you see the rockets in Ola's hands. It's going to be Ryan who's laying down the last line of defense. He tries to grab the overshield, but there's the snipe down coming off the spawn that we know coming up and picking off that clutch double kill. Yeah, and you can see that one dead for Envy, that snipe that one dead for uh, Naventic here. Just as we say that here, McWin gets cleaned up and Nemesis was able to stay alive towards that catwalk. So Envy is close to capturing that, but they're about to give up bed unless something big happens. And just as I say wow. that, three go down. They don't get the reset though. Last guy alive, Contra. Oh, look out. Ooh, that is not the best nade we've ever seen from Snipe down there. Almost takes out Hook, but luckily for them, Hook is going to be able to stay alive with that camo. I mean, I get that he's camo. Maybe you don't see him, but he's got a giant thing that says, I'm Hook above his head, and I'm a friendly teammate. Please don't grenade me, but I mean, We've teamed with Snipe down before. How many times did you get grenaded by that guy? I don't, I don't know. He would never confess to it. He never would confess to it. Oh, man, someone threw a sick <laughs> grenade on the other team. Watch the rebroadcast. It was Snipe down. Yeah, you're right, Snipe down. That was a sick grenade that you threw had it been on the other team there. We'll see what happens, though, because you still are looking decent if you're Neventic. But the score doesn't look good. It's 46 to 11. I mean, you're seeing perfect shots from Nemesis. You see great shots coming in from Ryanu. But the score doesn't reflect that. It's Envy with the teamwork, Envy with the rotations, Envy with the strongholds. Now they're pushing on over towards Blue Bed. Yeah, and they're picking up a few kills here. Envy's trying to go for this bend, but a contest is going to come in from Manemis. No, it's not. He does not push in fast enough. It likes just to back down. Ryan Noob's working on a flank there against Hook, who's taking those shields. Great bait and switch action. We'll see who ultimately comes out ahead here as Ryan Noob is now challenging Ola. He's got some help coming in. Destroyed. We'll finish that one off. Numbers advantage will still be here to Neventic. Yeah, you can see Ryan Noob. He went for maybe, I thought he was trying to do a Spartan charge there, but ended up turning into a melee. So interesting turn of events for Ryan. Not the mechanic that he was looking for. And now everyone dropping around towards that overshield area. And also rockets obviously popping up. That was Mick Wynn trying to win a battle on over towards the camo. That's going to be Nemesis. And I don't know, out of all the players on this Neventic squad, you know, we, we always hype up, you know, the Slayers like Contra with his great shot, Ryan Noob with his great objective work. But you know what? Nemesis could be the best overall player on this team. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely been playing well this game. Uh, getting these camos, he won the 1v1 against Mikwin. He perfected snipe down right before that in security as well to help secure this one. And they're doing a lot to get back into this game, but you know, I'm kind of amazed that we saw this big lead built by Envy because it doesn't seem like the Ventics necessarily playing bad. 
Yeah, well, I'm gonna go through and just run through the kills that each player has. You have Hook sitting at 10 right now. He has the most kills on his team with Snipe down. And then Pistola and Mikwin both sitting around eight kills. Meanwhile, on the other side, Destroyed kind of lagging behind, sitting at five kills. Nemesis and Contra at 10 and Ryan Noob at eight. So when you look at that, it's not very substantial kill differentials except on Destroyed's end. He does have a decent amount of captures and Ryan Noob has five on his team, but it's just been straight milking time here. For, and that's the goal. I mean, in Capture the Flag, you want to capture flags. In Slayer, you want to slay. In Strongholds, you want to control the Strongholds. And they have three in their favor right now. Yeah, Nemesis picks up another kill. Will get cleaned up by Mikwen. All three Strongholds still in favor of Envy. Ben is being taken, but how long will that last? Only one member in that hill. Finally, a second one goes there. Big battle here. Contra comes out ahead in that one. So they will stop the bleeding a little bit, but not enough or not enough control to get points on the board here. You got to get this Red Nest. They have to. They need this red nest so badly, they cannot afford to have them get this reset. There it is, they picked it up. At what cost though? Destroyed now, the last guy live temporarily. Good grenade flying in, doesn't connect, just make sure that he cuts off that angle. Hook's gonna fly in with the pistol. Curious to see if he's gonna try to help this red nest. It's very close, but he could go and try to help for the rocket area as well. With knowing how many seconds they need, he's just gonna elect to do that, leave the rockets, and then go focus down towards the overshield. Triple cap in effect. There's so much on the line here for them to get this overshield, and they do pick it up here for Neventic, but now they have to rotate immediately towards a stronghold, and that is the tough spot to be in, Kyle. When, you know, the triple cap, yeah, it's impossible to come back there if you're Neventic, but you have very limited choices, and whatever you're taking, whatever option that you're doing, you're still not in a good position because of how strong the setup was there from Envy towards the end. You go for that overshield, you don't have enough time to go for the strongholds. You go for the rockets, you don't have enough time to go for the um, overshield. And then if you go for a stronghold, you're giving up the rockets or the overshield. That's why it's so important to maintain control of at least two strongholds when those power weapons are coming up and those power ups coming up as we take a look at the stats. Yeah, and taking a look at these stats, Hook really showed up here today. Uh, 13 kills, most assists here in the game with only nine deaths, and that's gonna put him at five strongholds captured. So a lot of objective work coming out from everyone on Envy and slays, and Envy still out slaying. It's a great win for Envy. Team. It's a great win for Envy because they weren't shooting nearly as good as they could shoot. Like this battle right here, Snipe Down's gonna win that battle seven, eight time, times out of 10, maybe even more. I mean, he had first shot right there. He had good positioning. You saw some good shots coming in from these guys in Neventic, and they didn't um, have as many power weapon kills on the side of Envy either. Neventic had more power weapon kills than them, more rocket kills. So when you take that in consideration, yeah, they didn't get many overshields. Yeah, they didn't get many camouflages. But the fact that they were rotating so fast on the side of Envy, prioritizing which strongholds to give up and which strongholds to take, that is the key. That is how you win that game type, and they played that very well. Yeah, I mean, it's those times that they held those triple caps, which is why that one was so fast. Uh, every time they had those triple caps, they held them longer than they held their double caps. So even though Neventic was putting up a good fight, it was the points, the amount of points Envy was accumulating uh, in comparison right. to the win, the, the control that Neventic had, and which was less. And something to keep in mind is that these teams played at the Beyond, Beyond the Sticks Millennial event that happened in Las Vegas that um, Tawi ended up coming out to. And we got a chance to watch these guys play, I think, in definitely over four series. It could have been a little bit more. I'm not sure. But we definitely saw a minimum of four. And all of the games that they won, maybe besides one game for Neventic, was on Truth. Truth CTF and Truth Slayer were the games that they were taking against Envy consistently. One game, Nemesis dropped 27 kills, Kyle, in wow. a Slayer. Truth Slayer, Nemesis dropped 27 kills. That's absurd. All right, here it is. A new game, a new time, and probably a new Envy, honestly. They're definitely much improved since that Beyond the Sticks event and after DreamHack Atlanta as well. We'll see if they're going to be able to apply that stuff here and put the hurting on continuously here to Neventic. Ooh, and Contra not able to scare that kill onto Hook. He has Camus. We can't exactly challenge here. He wants to keep this uh, in his control as best as possible. Hook gets that melee off, though, but still finishes off the kill. 4-3 lead, even though they did not have control of Camo to start this one off. And that's kind of a little bit of a, a little bit of a scary thing to think about here, but we'll see if uh, Neventic's able to get back into this one. 
Mikwin trying to make his way into P2, has another guy. And oh, what a stick coming in from Mikwin right there, getting the trade in a nearly untradeable situation, pulling a rabbit out of the hat there, destroyed. He's gonna drop on over towards the car side. You know what, Kyle? We haven't really seen much of the Neventic point of view. It's been a lot of envy. Usually that's what happens when the team that is winning. They usually go on those sprees. Death screen, no fun over here. I'd love to see some more destroyed point of view, but again, it's difficult because now Envy is really starting to put on the hurt, and why switch to the guys that are the ones getting spawn trapped when you can watch this beautiful point of view right here. Now Hook is making his way on over towards Pink 2 to try to lay the hurting down onto the guys underneath the base. There's Nemesis, the Truth Slayer Master himself, trying to get some peak shots over onto Hook. Not able to do so though. Hook staying inside that nerdy area. Snipe down, gonna get the kill on the destroyed. Can they get more over towards the car side? No, that's gonna be Contra knocking down Pistola. Nemesis finding the kill on the snipe down. Under the circumstances, Kyle, that's a pretty good job by Neventic getting outside of that spawn trap situation. Yeah, I mean, it was not looking good for them. Luckily, they all pushed car side and were able to secure a few kills and kind of break up out of being trapped at blue here. Uh, Hook, I like what he did, doubling back over to car and now coming back over to pink side to secure this camo here. So that's going to be at 42, the grab, essentially. But 16 to 8, it's already double the score here from Neventic, and we're only two minutes in. Yeah, we may want to go on some Pistola point of view because this guy's going off, already sitting in at eight, four, and three. Meanwhile, the man that we wanted to watch destroyed currently sitting at zero and five, one and four for Ryan Noob. So tough go for these guys right now. We'll see if Hook's gonna be able to continue to lay down the herd and still stays alive somehow, not getting a trade as Nemesis. Can he continue to lay down the herding? No. Contra coming in with the beat down. Seven kills, definitely doable here, but destroyed. He's gonna need to get on the board. Yeah, and this is a scary moment. You jump top center, get taken no shields instantly. Luckily for him, though, two members of Envy below the base, so there's a little bit of a trap coming in here. They were down by up to eight kills, and they brought back a little bit, so we'll see if they're able to capitalize on this collapse and spawn trap, essentially, they have on Envy right now. But it's not looking good. It's two drop, and now Envy's got a chance to push out of the base. Yeah, so you got to see here, if you're Mikwin, where the angles are going to be. You can't overcommit, and that's exactly what he did. Just lay down a couple of shots, find out where these guys are going, and just make sure you're locking down this position. You can go and charge in, too, if someone else is going to take your position, but now he sees snipe downs there. He needs to back off, go back into P2, make the smart play over here, take some other angles, and now he's going to push in with snipe down once he hears these players are no shields. But still, what happens when you push in like that? Someone comes in from, high, from behind. Heads up play there from Ryan Noob. Taking the advantage that's given to him. A little bit of a mistake there from Envy. Probably the first mistake that we've seen coming out from these guys. Been playing some pretty flawless Halo up to this point. Still eight kills, definitely doable here for Neventic, but they have to get something going with this next camo. Yeah, I mean, you're down already, Envy hitting the halfway point in this game at 25 kills and still just kind of maintaining this lead that they've had, so we'll see if the Neventic boys are going to be able to kind of keep pace here and then maybe try to close it down at the end, or if it's going to be Envy just going to build on this lead. Most likely, Envy building on the lead. They are playing extremely hot right now, and this is not good. This is not good for Neventic in your best game type, a game type that you won a majority of then you lost going into Beyond the Six or after Beyond the Six. Now you're struggling here, 30 to 19 on the ropes with Envy with full control. What do you do here if you're Nemesis in squad? It's so important to get these kills cleanly so you can keep your shields. Now there's three dead. Ryanube's the last guy alive. Envy just continuing to lay down the cover fire for one another, continuing the bait and switching. It's it's almost impossible here for Neventic to try to come back with the amount of pressure that's being added on them. Yeah, I mean, this is just starting to get scary. What was down to six kills is now up to 15 kills here. So Hook's having to change weapons because he's running out of ammo. Nemesis, however, is the only one with really any kind of an answer here, I feel like, for this team as he's been able to win several individual 1v1 battles. Destroyed, currently sitting at 1 in 11. Trying to make a somewhat respectable stat line over here. Waiting for Ola to push in and Kind of seeing why, I mean, just not able to connect on a fairly easy kill, pushing up on the street, having to back down, kind of crazy shots going around, and no one even around to get that pickoff kill either. So there's the crispy shots that we're looking for from Destroyed, but Pistola, that kill that was an easy guy on the street, ends up dropping back down from P3. 
and getting the kill. So eventually just a trade two for two with good positioning, not what Eventic was looking for. Yeah, and Contra does drop down and finish off the player below the base. That's two dead for Envy. So last two players, one over here in bubble, the other one's across the map. Now, and Eventic should recognize that the spawns are going to be coming off uh, at red base and at car side. Although it looks like they're just being able to push out with no contest here from the Eventic. So Contra, you know, you want to sit back normally so you can block spawns, but you don't want to let the other team add a numbers disadvantage be able to push out and get full control. The window is a, a very key spot. Like you said, you can lock down those spawns, but one of the things that I feel like has been lost um, from a lot of the strategies and from a lot of the players is sitting in the window and using that as an area to get some really good angles. You can really surprise a lot of people and you can stay alive and be a nuisance in that area if your teammates are controlling B2 and you can watch the street from the window, which is extremely important because you can lay down shots on people pushing up force them back, or you can allow them to walk up and communicate that to your teammate. Yeah, but when you get stuck in the base there, that's the worst thing that can happen. Snipedot grabs a double, rotates the car, almost a triple, not going to be done in time, but a killing spree nonetheless, 48 to 30. It's likely not going to be a steak dinner that we see here, but either way, just a big margin of victory for Envy, either way, almost a rush because we can't lose type of situation, uh, especially on a map like Truth, it is just so hard to get all these kills by and prevent all the deaths from happening. Who says no, and goes right back in game two. 50-31. I mean, this is kind of what we were expecting going into, into this series when we called that this was most likely going to be the most lopsided one just based on how Envy's playing. And just, it's tough. It, it's tough to go against these guys, and, and you lose this one 50-31, to 31 and you know that it's your best game type going in. You know that you've taken this a majority from the same exact roster. But look at that, 16, 14, and 10 at the top, 3, 5, and 15 at the bottom destroyed, wishing that he could start that game back over. Not his best performance. He's definitely going to have to come back strong in game number three, but just how? How do you do it? Envy, they're so strong. I, I don't have, you know, any type of words of wisdom or any type of advice for an Inventic. I mean, run. Honestly, guys, run for your lives. I mean, and this is really just the same kind of thing that we saw yesterday against Team Liquid. And now we're just seeing it against Neventic. So Envy, I mean, they're showing themselves to be uh, back in their, you know, final form, you know, for lack of a better word. Th this is just convincing victories. They're setting themselves apart from everyone else here in the yeah. Pro League, especially considering what they did to Liquid, now what they're doing here to Neventic. The series is not over yet. They can definitely get back into this. We see the shots from Contra Nemesis, Ryan, doing well. Destroyed, if he's able to turn things around and have a better game uh, next time around here, we might see some improvements, but this Envy squad is scary, and they are bringing the aggression, and the assists are there. How many yeah. assists did they have that well, that's game? Just, so 46? Yeah, 46 you look at that, assists. and you see, you know, Contra 11 and 12, Nemesis 10 and 10, Ryan Eub 7 and 13. I mean, another 7 and 13 performance, and, you know, you're, you're still losing by 12 there. So, you know, 3 and 15, that's tough. That's, you know, probably, if not, you know, you're not going to see another performance like that from Destroyed, but... Um, I'm curious to see what his point of view looked like because again when we watched Liquid yesterday it was pretty much you had to play flawlessly in order to beat Envy the way that they were just constantly adding aggression like I said I think we we could be back up to the point where it's is it going to be Envy Optic again I don't know Splice they're obviously playing at a ridiculously high level even though it was a 3-0 today but I'm excited to see Envy back in form man because it, it has been in my opinion uh, uh, a little bit maybe two or three months since we've seen them playing at a pretty high level, and in my opinion. And, you know, I'm, I'm definitely harsh on them because I know what these guys are capable of, but this is what they're capable of. They're capable of taking over games individually and as a squad. Well, this beginning strategy is about as best they could have hoped for. They got three kills, Sniper and Rockets, to open this one up. So if they're not able to capitalize and get a flag capture here, especially Contra stands back with two more Rocket kills, then it's going to be a scary moment once these weapons change hands. Yeah, you got to use these weapons to get something out of them. You see they're focusing on the weapon, guys. Nemesis gets the perfect on to Pistola. Ryan Oop still trying to stay alive with the sniper, and they kill both Contra and Ryan, Kyle. Both of the power weapon guys taken out. Yeah, and that was when they had a numbers advantage on top of that as well, considering uh, Contra had gotten that kill with the Rockets. So not, not good news here for Noventic. They need to make sure they can shut down. His snipe down's got the sniper rifle here now. He's still got a good amount of ammo to bring some pain here to this team. 
Yeah, that's a flag capture, a minute and 20 seconds in. Minute and 20, very popular time to get a flag capture because usually you see within like 30 seconds if the team has control, but if the other team gets control and it gets retaken from them, that's typically when you see that minute and 20 second flag cap. I think we saw one again earlier today. Now snipe down, this is the guy that you want in this position. Sitting back, he talked about in the interview, how Mick when he's really great in your face with the sniper rifle, really great at when people hit the shots, but when snipe down is picking people apart, taking angles and not getting shot at, this is when this man thrives. There he is, getting someone in his face right there. Nemesis looking for the double kill this time. Destroyed, he's gonna back down. Someone needs to push in towards this flag area. They have great positioning right now for Envy. A guy top rocket's waiting for those. You have a guy top catwalk, they're just waiting for the spawner to push back in. Nice headshot there from snipe down, and eventually the rest of these Envy members are gonna push in. Yeah, and you can see Hook's got the rockets. He grabs himself a double three dead. Last one's alive, destroyed. He gets taken out. Contra's last one on elbow. He gets rocketed, has to run away. That's two members over there on that side of the map. McQueen gets one, Hook gets the other. Some spawns being blocked now. McQueen with the assassination. That's about to be two we're flag on, captures. We're on goose alert, Kyle. No possible chance we're of stopping on goose that alert. one. We How are many on, gooses? We're on goose alert. Ryan Hoop currently goosing. We are on a goose alert, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone, prepare your geese. All right, but that's three dead once again. Ryan Noob, last guy alive. Oh, he, he gets taken it. out without a kill. Uh -oh. Flag starts to move. Quack. Quack. Nemesis Quack. Contra. Goose, I mean, if Ryan Noob gets killed here off spawn, it is going to be it dead. for him. This is a scary moment. Contra gets across the map, but he's no shields. Maybe he gets a pull, but oh, not no, going to be able to do anything. The kill. Oh, oh snipe down. Snipe down. Choke. Breadstick gets choke. him the breadstick. Choke. What a choke from Snipe down. Envy, wow. you guys lose that game, yep. actually. That's it, I'm calling it forfeit the match. Wow. That's a win in event tick. Snipe down, no. Is that scared. series over? That was game three. <laughs> was that game three? We're done. That oh was one God. of the fastest, that what was just a fast happened? series. Well, I mean, we know what happened. What Envy just happened? happened? Envy did this yesterday, they just did it again today. It's extremely impressive performance from them. They. You know, I said after all the team changes, you know, I've been I've been talking to you about it. And after all these team changes, who is the most most improved squad? Well, from Atlanta Envy. to now, I'd say <laughs> without a team change, Envy is still the most uh, improved squad. They're the most improved. And uh, again, I, I still want to talk about this guy one last time. Altown, I think he is the most individually improved player from one of these okay. guys that, you know, has been in my opinion, not getting as much credit as he should um, throughout Halo 5. I think that he's kind of coming into his own for Ronin. And Ronin. really only consistency for and, him. And exactly. And, and But also, he's going big now. And, he, and he's gone big before, but he's going big, but never having those small games as well. So, so it's really exciting to see how those guys are going to do. But wow, envy, domination. That was, that was extremely impressive. I did not... I expected an Envy win. You know, we were talking about this before the series got underway. Um, they continue their momentum from yesterday. This is a scary squad. I don't know who's going to be able to beat them. Um, you know, we'll, maybe we'll find out if anyone can take them down once they match up against Optic and Splice later on. But as far as anyone else seated lower than them, it has just been complete blowouts. Ridiculous performance from Envy again. You can't say enough from these guys. Like I said, let's get a break.